Hey folks, welcome to another special edition of the Digital Debate Center. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the pandemic app, and more specifically, we're going to be talking about the racism critique that will be released alongside the evidence. This is for um, high school JV as well as middle school varsity. So to begin, let's go ahead and remember what a critique is. A critique is an argument that says that the plan is a result of a bad philosophy or has made erroneous assumptions as the product of a bad way of thinking. So it's not just the consequences of the plan are bad, it's the way of thinking, the ethics of the plan are problematic. Uh, the second part, so that's the link, right? How the plan is an example of a bad mindset. The second part is the impact. What are the consequences of that negative mindset? And then finally, there's the alternative. What should we do instead? The Deva Kumar evidence makes all three of those arguments uh, for the one in C uh, of the racism critique. So let's go through them. The first is the link. And this piece of evidence says that public health is a in the United States, or just generally speaking, is a product of systemic racism. And as a result, race-neutral policies like the plan end up backfiring because they continued that racist system. Now, the impact and the justification for the link kind of go hand in hand. So the impact is this systemic racism, and it cites a couple of statistics. The first argument is that, generally speaking, persons of color are negatively experience more negative health outcomes than uh, their white counterparts. In particular, this piece of evidence says that uh, race is negatively correlated with almost every measure of health. So the second argument is that COVID-19 has kind of proven, because of its disproportionate impact on persons of color, that there is a structural racist issue in public health. So this piece of evidence says that the pandemic has revealed that racism is not just a form of interpersonal discrimination, but instead is leading to mass death and violence against persons of color because of our current ineffective public health system. And this piece of evidence, evidence says that racism accumulates, the consequences accumulate over the course of your life, and then they are passed on to the next generation, making it an intergenerational trauma. So what should we do instead? The alternative says that you know, if we have a fundamentally flawed institution, we need to change it. We need to reimagine public health with a focus on racial justice so that we don't have race neutral policies like the plan that continue to have disproportionate impacts on persons of color. So when the next pandemic comes, there won't be this racial inequity. So I think that's a fairly simple argument. Ultimately, racism is a public health crisis. COVID-19 statistics prove that public health in the United States is deeply flawed because of the disproportionate impact of the pandemic on impoverished persons of color. The second argument is that the plan, by continuing this current public health system and by creating race-neutral policies, ends up being racially unjust. And as a result, our, our alternative is to reimagine public health so that when the next pandemic comes, there aren't these disproportionate impacts. We need to focus on racial justice first before focusing on pandemic response. All right, hope that makes sense. Uh, this is a fairly simple critique. So hope to see y'all at a tournament in the fall fairly soon and have a great day.